Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching another live edition of the Locker Known Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily dose of geek news, reviews, and answers that you can use like an answer to the question, why is TLDR being done as a hangout from a different point of view from my webcam instead of the much nicer camera on the desk behind me? That's because YouTube live streaming was being an emoji poo today. It was not working very well. I tried the primary server and the backup server, and so this is the backup to the backup. Normally, this particular Hangout would be for the patrons, but you're now part of something that you wouldn't have been a part of otherwise. I'm not really going to hang out with anybody, though, so you're not getting anything different other than a different angle, a different microphone, a different this, that, and the other thing. Some people might actually prefer this angle or this microphone to the way that I've been doing TLDR and the Q&A with you and me. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you're listening to this as the podcast, then you probably can't hear or see the difference uh, at all because it's still just audio that's being uh, processed in post. I'm really not going to cover anything different than I planned on covering today. Apart from one thing, if you did not know, we've rebooted shop.lockernome.com, the Locker Gnome store. Uh, I'm doing a, a partnership or have been doing a partnership now. It's uh, being managed uh, slightly differently than it was before. Different, differently, think different, think differently. And behind me, uh, way behind me, behind the computer that's uh, running the, the list of uh, some of the patrons to give credit to, uh, there is something that I'm going to be showing everybody today. It is a uh, life size, or I believe a life size, a cardboard cutout, a stand up. These things are so popular. And guess what? I didn't ask for this. My partner in the store, he sells tons of these. Uh, this is Darth Vader. And I don't know where he's going to go. I don't think he's going to be going in the workshop, though. He may end up uh, floating down to the media room because he's kind of tall. He's kind of big. I don't even know if my ceilings are tall enough for that thing. It's going to be tall. So, uh, yes, we have hoodies and uh, items like uh, cardboard cutouts, all sorts of geeky things happening right now. Shop.lockernome.com. The patrons uh, get access to uh, a sleeping screensaver. <laughs> Hang on, let me... I don't know when that cut out there. I may have to run this uh, presentation again. The... Uh, dang it. Am I even... Am I having fun yet? No, I think I am. But let me do this again just in case the patrons didn't get the credit that they deserve. Uh, and as they are, I'm going to continue to do what it was that I was doing before and telling you that I'm going to be putting up this thing today. So I don't think anybody's going to mind seeing these people again or their names again. I did a video over the weekend. It's going to be a part of the Perillo vlog when that gets published, but I'm going to be uploading it separately to uh, the classic YouTube channel and then possibly doing a separate Q&A video about that topic next week. There's a page on YouTube uh, where if you don't go there and check mark the right things, you could be missing all the notifications that you need to be receiving for all the content that you love. So uh, I'll put the link for you in this video description. If you saw my Facebook post, you're way ahead of me. Uh, it will be published as a separate video, like I said, if I didn't say this, in the classic channel, uh, the, the, which I assume y'all are still uh, watching because we're doing a produced CPU episode for everybody there every day. Uh, but it's a subscription management page that you have to put a check mark into receiving updates for channels you subscribe to and then go a step further and toggle whether you want all updates, some updates uh, from those various channels. Uh, and then you could also create compilation pages. So let's say you wanted to see all the updates from the Geek Lifestyles YouTube channel, our vlog channel, Diana's channel, uh, my classic YouTube channel, which a lot of people subscribe to. You can get them all on one page by managing like this uh, collection of sorts on your own account. But you have to visit this page. YouTube's not going to do it for you. So this is a big, 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 big deal. I'm still trying to figure out what to title that video, but it'll likely be going up into my classic channel tonight as like a, uh, what was it? A minute long, if it was a minute long, it was a very short video just explaining, here's what you got to do, here's how to do it, and, and get it done. That way you can stay up to date, because YouTube, I just don't think, is doing uh, any producer any favors at all with uh, engagement. Uh, in fact, I think they've made it more difficult for YouTube producers to connect with community and, and their intended audience than anything. And I thought Facebook was doing a horrible job, but I think YouTube's done even worse because of all these hidden settings that... They don't tell you about. It's not, you know, blatant. It's not in your face. They just don't make it easy. And then the onus is on people like me to explain to people, like, I'm sorry, YouTube does not make it easy. So, oh, thank you. Yes. Now we've officially run through that. Um, the uh, uh, 
Liz has been texting me off and on throughout my broadcast here, and I, I can't follow 13 things. Uh, I had posted the Q&A uh, with you and me, the, the video about Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Tonight, Agent Carter's new episode is released. I'm very much looking forward to that because I'm caught up on that series as well. I'm thinking that I want to start uh, Arrow and Flash, and it seems that that's a popular choice. I don't know what you feel. I want to know if you feel uh, one way or another about Arrow and Flash. I believe I'd have to watch them concurrently because there's a lot of crossover. I'm always hesitant to latch on to any type of television program that I might like in the fear that at one point it's no longer going to be produced. I don't think that's a fear with Agent Carter because I think it's just going to be a limited run. And then with uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I believe it's going, It's definitely got legs. It's got longevity. Oh, thank you, honey. You're welcome. I have to do TLDR from this angle. Oh, you do? Yeah, I got a tortilla. Those are the new organic ones. I got a new organic tortilla. Let's see how they taste. I feel like they're thicker, a little bigger, just a tad bit thicker. Mm, maybe a bit. That's great. Hope everybody grabbed food, because if you're watching a video with me in it, chances are I'm eating or drinking something. Eating something, at least. So, um, let me know what you think about Arrow or Flash, if you watch it, if it's something that I should start. I am looking for you to give me some guidance because if enough people out in the community say, no, 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 don't, bo don't bother, it's not, it's not as good or it's this or it's that, if enough people do that, I might be dissuaded from uh, going this, uh, to, to the extra mile to uh, watching uh, those, uh, those television series because they're based on comic books. I can't think of anything more geeky than that. By way of patron Earl Green, this is interesting, if only because I know you, and many of you, much like me, uh, subscribe to some kind of music subscription service. So even though it, I slurred my words there, music subscription service. Record labels pocket 45% of profits from streaming services. Music artists are lucky if they get 7%. And that, you know, that's the thing. You think that all these big artists are just raking it in and you just don't understand the business behind everything. Uh, you you see a little bit and then you interpolate and that's not right. I, I've seen the same problem happen with a lot of social media numbers. And I, I understand a lot of people uh, focus and concentrate on uh, number of subscribers, number of patrons is great. Don't get me wrong. I have 800 more patrons than most people do. So I'm very, very grateful for that. I have more subscribers than most people do. I'm very, very grateful for that. But each number only tells part of the story. So even if uh, an artist sells a million albums, well, it doesn't necessarily mean that they made a million dollars from it. It's possible they did, but unfortunately, that's just not how it works. You can't just take one number and, and, and then just multiply it you know, by a factor of X in your head. It just doesn't work that way. There are a lot of nuances behind bits and pieces of the industry that you're just not familiar with unless you're in it. I don't know anything about the music industry. I know about publishing online. I know about uh, managing a team. I, I know about uh, doing what it is that I do for you on a daily basis and the frustrations that I face. Like today, had problems with YouTube Live. I got to figure out another way to get the broadcast out there. We're doing the hangout. Is it perfect? No. Is it better than nothing? Absolutely, I believe so. Uh, but to explain that to people who don't get to see behind the scenes sometimes is a bit uh, tricky. So don't just look at one number and then automatically assume that everything is horrific or everything's bad or everything's wrong or or the opposite, that everything's great. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. It's, it's, it's a bit of the truth, but it's only a partial truth with any one given number. I just thought that was fascinating that an artist might only get about 7% from an online streaming service. 7% is better than nothing, but, you know, if you were used to getting more from other ways, it, it may be a, a big crimp in your business model there, and you kind of have to adjust, you know, much like I had uh, been uh, uh, tweeted out earlier. It was nice to get a response from Marquez Brownlee. Um, I was saying that for the videos that we do, it seems that YouTube, it, it's, it's great to be there. I love YouTube as much as, you know, the, the average person might like YouTube, uh, but Facebook, has a different way of, of producing videos and pushing videos out there. Well, even though Facebook counts a view differently than YouTube counts a view, I view it the same way. Having one more view of a video that I've taken the time to do is better than no more views to a video that I've taken the time to do. So here's a, 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 an easy example. I uploaded a video a couple of days ago of Jedi giggling. It was a minute long. I thought it was, it was wonderful. It was great. I even put it in the blog, you know, separately. I, I, I had I had fun. It was it was an awesome little video. So as an experiment, or just one experiment, because we're also publishing the CPU videos into Facebook, I published it on Facebook and YouTube. Same video. And I would say that we had 
tw- uh, like three times as many people or tr- three times as many views on Facebook than we and way more shares on Facebook than we did the known shares on YouTube. So it just tells me that there's deeper engagement for a lot of video f- happening on Facebook than YouTube. And I talked about this in the Q and A video that I recorded yesterday. So I, I don't want to beat a dead horse. I'm not going to pull that you know stick out of the drawer. But suffice it to say, I think uh, video content producers need to be paying attention to this. And it's not to say that the view is equal. And it's not to say that, that views are the, everything's about the view. It's not about that. I would much prefer a video to be seen by one person than a, the video to seen by nobody. So understand one is better, one is greater than zero. I even tweeted that out earlier today. That was my math lesson for today. One is greater than zero. That was me in my head. I was subtweeting myself. So I, I think that uh, I will continue to put video on YouTube and uh, Facebook. Uh, I don't think I'd necessarily push it anywhere else. The next stage would likely be publishing video into our mobile app. When that gets rebooted, uh, we've got the Locker Gnome mobile app that's uh, going to be on Android and uh, in iOS for free. Haven't really heard anything about the direction of where they're going with that, but it's likely where we're going to be driving a lot of direction for community. Because... I can't trust YouTube and I can't trust Facebook and I can't trust any system that just you know, you know, that puts me in the back of the line with you. I don't like that. I put you at the front of the line. That's why you're listening to me. That's why you have an opportunity to listen to me. So I'm grateful for the services for what they provide. But much like I referred to with YouTube earlier, they don't make it easy. And it's really messed up, man. Uh, and and I, I wish I didn't have to spend time talking about this, but as someone who produces content, Knowing full well that you might produce content too, you need to be aware of this. Or you even follow other content producers. Trust me, they're facing these hurdles and they don't necessarily talk about it or it's not as plain as it might be because they're not talking about it. Uh, There was another person who does a, I believe he does a podcast about Transformers that were saying he's seeing the same things. He's seeing higher engagement for videos he's doing on YouTube. Uh, He's seeing higher engagement on Facebook compared to the same videos on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know where the YouTube community's gone, but I... I just, I can't imagine that my whole community would revolve around one platform or another because community is where you go. It's where your heart goes. Anyway, so th- there we go. So I'm, everything is that I've talked about is kind of related apart from the, the flash and uh, arrow uh, comment there. Flipboard is another good way of staying up to date on your favorites, people or topics. Uh, Flipboard is an app. It's free on Android and iOS. I don't know if there's a Windows Phone version, but I don't know if there are a lot of Windows Phone users out there. You can use it on the web now. That's cool. Uh, I don't know if I would. I'd be more inclined to use it on a tablet or a smartphone based on how it works. I like Flipboard a lot for discovering news. Uh, Twitter typically is my top news source where I connect with uh, stuff that I otherwise wouldn't uh, have known about, following hashtags, following trends. Uh, but Flipboard is great. Uh, you can subscribe to a lot of stuff that I do in Flipboard if you wanted to, and I'd recommend it because, unfortunately, you can't count on any one service to show you the things that you might be interested in, and you can't count on somebody to visit a page directly anymore. The abstraction of content is the biggest challenge that a content producer has. It doesn't matter where you find it so long as you do find it. Flipboard is now on the web. Kind of old news, yes, but maybe you hadn't heard about that before. Maybe you didn't know that Flipboard was a product that existed. Here's another product that I don't know if you knew existed. I had an opportunity to talk about it today in the CPU. I've received this. It's the Weird Al Yankovic Simpsons figure. Mm, Look at that. I believe it's a part of uh, Series 4. They're going through all the special guest stars in uh, the, uh, the, the Simpsons. I keep saying the Lego Simpsons. That's not right. At Lego Simpsons, completely different topic, or partially different topic. Uh, from season 19, episode 11, uh, Weird Al Yankovic, classic Weird Al with his glasses. Or you could take glasses off, I believe. Maybe not. I haven't, I haven't removed it from the box. So the CPU that I recorded today, the video was about blind bags, so I opened three more blind bags and had an opportunity to talk about this. If that video gets 1,000 likes, then I will remove Weird Al Yankovic from the box. Until then, he will remain fully collectible in the box. Gosh, I hope I can remove him and play with Weird Al Yankovic out of the box. You decide. Your fate is my fate. My fate is your fate. I've got a Weird Al Yankovic figure. My second Weird Al Yankovic figure. My first Weird Al Yankovic figure is uh, My Little Pony Cheese Sandwich. Does that make me like an honorary brony? I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not into that. 
at all, but more power to you if you are. More than half of all emails in the UK are opened on an Apple device. That is staggering. Not just a computer. You don't need a computer to check your email. Well, you do, technically. But like a, a traditional computer. That's how most people would check their email. But even my dad, when he was here last week, was saying that he checks his email mostly on the phone. That's awesome. So the UK is, I guess, in love with Apple. So I'd imagine that Apple would love the UK. If you live in the UK and you can't stand Apple, obviously this is not a personal slight. I don't care either way. It's just a statistic. Feel free to uh, you know look deeper at it or you know have more people not use your favorite product or use your favorite product. I don't care. I have no horse in this race <laughs> at all. Uh, but it was just uh, interesting. That was surfaced on my social feeds uh, this morning. Half of all emails, more than half of all emails in the UK opened on an Apple device. That number could climb, but again, you know, what goes up must come down eventually. Uh, as I had, uh, you know, been made perfectly clear as I stand up out of my desk to show you my awesome Star Wars shirt. Uh, this is a very soft shirt, by the way. I, I want to uh, try to uh, move along in, in, in cutting out. It's it's pre-sliced, but it's, it's not perfectly pre-sliced, so I'm trying to make sure that I don't rip the Darth Vader here. I'm killing two birds with one stone or at least attempting to. If this doesn't work, I'm going to continue to sit there and be a talking head for you. I think what I have to do is kind of trace my fingernail along the back. That might be a little easier. Because um, I don't want to ruin this. That is for shizzle. Uh, the moment you rip something like this, the moment it loses its value. And this is very valuable to me. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. Okay, yeah, I think that's a bad idea. I'm going to go ahead and sit down and tell you uh, some other bit of news. <laughs> Have you ever had like something sitting in front of you that you really, really, really wanted to play with or really, really, really wanted to open and you just couldn't wait to do it? That's that's me right now. <laughs> I want to see the stand. I've never had, never in my entire life have I had a stand-up. My dad, I think, had a Jar Jar Binks stand-up. At one point, he did. and He may still have it if he admits that he did. Um, there was a great interview that the Jedi Temple Archives did with Hasbro Hasbro's really been upsetting a lot of Star Wars toy collectors lately, and they said something that really upset a lot of uh, female collectors who love Star Wars. Say, uh, they said that basically they feel they've made enough female figures, and the, the, the entire community is like, uh, no, you haven't, and we feel slighted. We, uh, every, just about every one of us feels slighted by Hasbro and how they've been treating the franchise. And I think they've done well enough, but they, uh, they could do more. They even went as far as to say... Uh, that they wouldn't be looking deeper into a collector's club because th this really kind of upset me too because I would love to be in a collector's club. That would be awesome. And, and I don't mean like, you know, badge carrying member, but like there's a Masters of the Universe collector's club and there's a G.I. Joe collector's club where, you know, you pay a subscription fee and then you get these unique figures that you can't get anywhere else. That would be an amazing idea. And they basically, eh, eh we're not really, man, eh, I don't think it's going to work. Are you kidding me? Oh man, that is that is a subscription that I would absolutely be happy to pay for. I have a few subscriptions. That's one of them, but they don't have it. I'm mean, I'm not going to pick up subscriptions for Masters of the Universe. Uh, not likely GI Joe. I I might consider it, but I I'm, I tend to not be that much of a fan of GI Joe or or Masters of the Universe. Even Transformers, as much as I may enjoy them, I don't know if I'd see myself uh, going that far. Yeah, this is going to be difficult to do. Man, it's life-size Darth Vader. We have other things there, too. Oh, man, I gotta be careful. Better not cut myself. And that would be bad, because then I'd bleed out and faint here live on YouTube. I don't want that to happen. Uh, the next web had posted something about an acquisition that Twitter made. Uh, now I didn't realize that Twitter would even go this far, but it's a very niche service. Niche? 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 service uh, that connects brands with influencers, which is great. Twitter, for the longest time, hasn't really ignored influencers. I mean, of course, they've engaged. But, you know, when when someone approaches me, a company approaches me, I don't really have an opportunity to engage them in a, in a way that I would like to be able to engage them. And when uh, Twitter takes this step forward in helping brands engage with influencers, that really is exciting for me. YouTube kind of did that. Uh, but not not as uh, deeply so much, you know, when you've got the uh, the impact of the MCNs on the average YouTuber. 
Uh, Facebook certainly hasn't done that. So Twitter, possibly to set itself apart, may do better engagement directly between brands and influencers. And I think that's, that's a step in the right direction. There's no doubt in my mind at all. I'm happy about that. Uh, Facebook a while ago brought buying and selling to groups. Someone had asked me last week, it was, a, it was a question in one of our vlogs, like where do I go to buy and sell stuff? I buy from just about anywhere, but I'll sell stuff very carefully, depending on what it is that I'm trying to sell. I, I don't really sell a lot of stuff in traditional marketplaces because A, uh, like what's happened to other people, uh, be, because people know who I am, they'll, they'll cheat the system and I don't like that. So I tend to sell one-on-one -on -one and figure out a way to do it in a blind auction kind of thing. Uh, and, and typically doing it like that, I've, I've, I haven't had too many issues, if any at all. But Facebook may be the way to do better uh, buying and selling or, or trading. The problem is you can't trust people. As much as you want to, you can't trust anybody to be true to their word. And that to me is uh, more than mildly frustrating when it comes to buying and selling because then you've got a product that's on the line or, or certainly money that's on the line that you were expecting that uh, you'd be getting. So the, uh, uh, the problem I see with Facebook buying and selling in groups is no tracking of identity or knowing whether or not someone, one identity was, had, had been known to rip somebody else off. There's no, it's not like eBay where you can see, oh, this person's had, this many good ratings or this many bad ratings to know whether or not you want to deal with that person. So it's a good feature, but I'm, I'm still not sure about the implementation. The Lego group in uh, just right before uh, Toy Fair in New York, which is awesome to follow on Twitter, uh, that they basically had posted a, uh, a, 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 a blog post talking about how they're never effectively going to be letting that Lego uh, Star Wars license lapse. Star Wars has been amazing for a lot of companies out there, especially the companies that uh, I can't leave Darth Vader alone, especially the companies uh, that, you know, have amazing products and are looking to tie into Star Wars merchandise. So if you were hoping that any kind of interlocking brick would come to another toy brand, it's not likely going to happen that way. Sorry, I wanted to pull that out as I continue to try this again. Just too excited. Um, this is the cliffhanger for today's TLDR. Will Chris pop out his Darth Vader? Stay tuned and find out. Um, so Lego will likely have the Star Wars license uh, forever, certainly as long as I live. And that makes me very, very happy. Let me grab this here. Oh, as I continue to pop this out, let me remind everybody that Citrix Go to Assist offers a secure cloud-based solution for IT and customer support professionals to provide live and unattended remote support to their employees and customers working from any computer or mobile device for a 30-day free trial. Visit gotoassist.com. Yeah, I needed to read that from the piece of paper there that was behind the Darth Vader that is still being very, very stubborn. See, now, it would probably be easier if this is the only thing that I was concentrating on, but I'm just so close. Holy jeebus! Wow! Wow! Dude, this is larger than life! Dude, this has got to be way, way larger than life size. Either that, I'm very, 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 very short, which, you know, both things could be. Uh, Google I.O. is going to be happening May 28th and 29th in SF, San Francisco. I would expect that as Google I.O. happens, uh, I may very well be doing a, a live stream concurrently. Although, typically, a lot of the stuff that they announce at Google I.O., while fascinating, isn't always geared towards uh, the types of gadgets and gizmos and, and software that I think gets people really, really, really excited. They're not as uh, interesting as I would say an Apple keynote might be, or even a Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft keynote to a large degree. I am getting closer to getting this guy popped out. Oh, man. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Come on, clap if you believe that I can do this. <laughs> Just going like, to clap if you believe in uh, fairies. Is that the, the Peter Pan thing? All right. Britain. Now, this was amazing to me that it wasn't illegal. Britain has banned something called revenge porn. Like, what? Like, Really? Like, how is that not banned, uh, you know, to begin with? When when someone doesn't give you permission to do something with anything that might involve them, to me, 
there's no there's no questionable uh, uh, authority there. I mean, the authority should lie with uh, the the person who is involved specifically with the uh, the content in question. And in fact, uh, Liz was even telling me that uh, a few MCNs on YouTube are getting uh, sued by a, a music uh, a license distributor because uh, they uh, used music to uh, give to all their creators to use in their videos. This is one of the reasons, I, I honestly, I enjoy hearing music in videos, but it always makes me nervous. I don't have my own composer. I don't have anybody creating unique music for me. And so it's why it's a little easier to do live videos. It's a little more challenging because I think some people have come to expect music. If I could, I'd create a different 8-bit track every single freaking day. And I guess that might be possible if I, if I knew uh, the costs associated. That'd be great to kind of wrap into uh, uh, some kind of campaign, I think, if I found the right composer to be able to pull it off. I'm a huge fan of 8-bit stuff. Huge fan of pixel art, too. Uh, no, this is also cool. I retweeted this directly from one of the inventors. Uh, you remember the Star Trek tricorder? This is, yes, I'm, I can actually touch Star Wars memorabilia, wear a Star Wars shirt, and still get excited about Star Trek. It is possible. Uh, see? You can do it, too, if you want. Uh, the tricorder, kind of awesome little gadget that would scan, you know, a body and tell you what the hell's wrong. Well, a medical tricorder is closer to being a possibility now. It's 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 happening, for real. Like, the, the inventor, you know, he stumbled upon this because his son had suffered a, a fall that basically rendered him with brain damage. And this inspired him to create something that made the process easier to diagnose. Um, obviously, you know, it's, it's probably going to be a while before something like that catches on, but you want to talk about a, a world changing gadget. That would be it, a tricorder. So I'm quite excited uh, about, uh, seeing something like that. If only because it would be very, very transformative in terms of how we see ourselves in relation to technology and how technology can help save us from problems in the future. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm really close guys. I'm really close and gals. Guys and gals, okay, that part's falling away. Yeah, how, how am I doing there? Is it, it okay? It's kind of getting easier there. Ish, ah, ah. Gotta be very, very careful with this. Come on, Vader. You can do it. I think I, think I can. It's like the, the little geek that could. <laughs> All right, let me walk and see the next bit of news uh, that I wanted to share. Oh! I'm a huge Back to the Future fan, huge enough that, you know, I remember seeing it in theaters so many times. I'll watch it when it's on TV. My favorite Back to the Future movie out of all three uh, was, uh, now I wasn't a big enough fan to be able uh, to watch the, the cartoon. I didn't really like the cartoon as much as other people might have. Uh, but uh, the Back to the Future shoe, the Back to the Future 2 shoe that you've likely seen, have you seen the shoe? It's pretty cool. They're going to be making it later this year. So you'll be able to get a Back to the Future shoe. If you a Back to the Future two shoe that glows and everything, and you know what? This is a little unwieldy. <laughs> oh man, what I do for my fandom? Okay, I'm I'm like wrapped up in all this cardboard here. It's craziness. It's crazy. Oh, Apple's App Store. This might uh, throw some of you. Is considering uh, keeping their uh, the 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 games that you can buy that that don't require any kind of in-app purchases, uh, they're thinking about making that a permanent section, which is really kind of neat uh, because I would appreciate that. I sometimes won't even bother with a game. if Even if I like the brand, even if I like the promise of the game, I won't even bother if I see if it has in-app purchases unless the ratings are you know completely off the charts because I, 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 I don't mind in-app purchases. In fact, uh, Crossy Road uh, was a game that I, I spent, I don't know, like, Five, six bucks on in-app purchases, and, and I, I, I liked it uh, enough to want to spend money on it. They, I, I feel that Crossy Road did in-app purchases correctly compared to the way a lot of companies might do in-app purchases. Almost there, almost there. So hopefully Apple will see that through and make it permanent or a permanent part of the App Store experience at any point in the future, because I think that is going to make a lot of people happy, especially if you want to pay for a game once and never have to pay for a game again, like through in-app purchases at all. I, I don't mind the model. Uh, I just I mind how it's sometimes implemented. 
that I think is the uh, the defining factor. Hang on, I am going to need to get a sharp instrument here to get the rest of it off, I think, because it's kind of attached in a way that I don't want to bust through it and, and ruin the uh, paint on the other side. And there we go. I did it. I couldn't leave well enough alone. Now, how do I get this thing to, to fold along vertical crease? Wait, okay, it, I've got instructions here. St three, okay, where's one? O, fold long ways on vertical crease, lift up to lock tabs, stand it up. So I think I need to do, oh, I need to start down here. Two, I, I, okay, so, okay, let me go down here and <laughs> continue to put it together. I hope you don't mind. I, I don't mind personally. Oh, Office Mobile is updated uh, just yesterday. Boy, I'm breaking a sweat. <laughs> it's a great reason to break a sweat, let me tell you. Uh, Office Mobile and web apps now support more third-party cloud storage services, including iCloud and Box. So now if you have an iPhone or an iPad and you, you like using Office, uh, you can now, you, it'll sync to uh, not just OneDrive, but also iCloud, which I think is very, 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 very smart uh, for Apple uh, number one, to have uh, enabled iCloud Drive in general, but also very, very smart specifically for Microsoft to take advantage of. Because think about that. It's just more convenient to pull people deeper into Microsoft's ecosystem where up until recently they just they they weren't. Another smart reason that Apple uh, went, or Microsoft went the direction they did with getting Office on other devices apart from Windows devices. So the another thing that I wanted to talk about, apparently there's an app you know, you, you think that I don't have much of a life. There's an app that will show you my butt. Just like I just mooned YouTube there. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> there's an app that will give you an invisible girlfriend or boyfriend. So you can have an invisible girlfriend or boyfriend by way of an app. Now, I like the movie Her. I don't know if I ever did a, a, a movie review about Her. This is the second part. It's the, the other lightsaber, which I'm going to wait on. I'm going to wait on that lightsaber part. I'm going to stand up the Vader. Um, so it, you can have your own virtual girlfriend and or boyfriend. There is Darth Vader, not in the flesh. That's now you, you can say you saw Darth Vader's crotch and Chris Perillo's butt in one video. I can't even get the whole thing in here. He's so tall. He's so freaking tall. You'll have to see him, the full stand up version where I take him, uh, when, uh, when I upload today's vlog eventually, or when the vlog that I'm doing or recording today gets done. Okay, so now my OCD has been satisfied. I'm going to stand Vader up just like that. Boy, very, very nice. Very menacing. Very big. Very awesome. Very, very, very available at shop.lockernome.com. Oh, I'm glad I collect Darth Vader things and not Jabba the Hutt things. I'd be in trouble. I found an app today that I've been looking forward to using because I've been needing an app like it and I have not found one that did just exactly what this does. It's called Jotbox. I just started using it. If I can find my phone, I can possibly give you a brief kind of demonstration. Uh, basically with Jotbox, and I know you're thinking to yourself, why don't you just use email for this? Uh, I have a problem where and any anytime I email myself, it'll go into the sent items folder, which you know isn't a huge issue, but sometimes I forget and I need to email myself to remind me of something. And so the uh, uh, job box, what it'll do is it'll allow you to email and it'll email you from their service a note or a reminder to you, which is great. So you can you can you can type in text using the keyboard. Uh, you can even do uh, like scribbles. Like, I'm sorry, my screen is so bright, but I can do this and I can email it to me. Uh, I can take a picture and email it. It'll synchronize to uh, Evernote. It's a very, very simple utility that does exactly what I've been needing to have done. And it does it. And it's clean and it's simple. 99 cents. Uh, I didn't pay for it because I exchanged some of my points that I earned by way of go.tagjag.com slash free points to get it. And I was very, very happy to do that. Uh, but I think that uh, one of the more exciting things about having an app like that is, yes, it's simple. Yes, it's it's something that I could have done some other way, but it does what it needs to do, and then it gets out of my way. I love that about an app. It's why I'm a huge fan of software, more so I'm a bigger fan of software than I am hardware, and I probably always will be. I mean, that's a perfect kind of software experience. So it's called... 
Jotbox. Uh, I'll put the link for you in the, the description. Um, Jotbox. Jotbox. And it's 99 cents on iOS. I don't know if there's an Android version available, uh, but it likely would be in the future if, 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 it, uh, if it, it is, turns out to be popular. I, uh, I also, uh, again, want to reiterate that you can get pretty much any app that you would normally pay for in the App Store for free by exchanging your uh, points that you earn uh, for an app in uh, go.tagjag.com slash free points. It's so easy to do. I, I honestly, I, for the rest of my life, as long as the, that service exists, it won't be a problem for me to try apps and the developer gets paid. I exchange my apps or my points for apps and I get to try apps that normally would cost me a buck or two, which really isn't that much in the grand scheme of things. Speaking of not much in the grand scheme of things, this also came across my radar today. A DNA hard drive has been built that can store data for 1 million years. So just a fraction of DNA is all it takes to store exabytes of data. If not, yeah, I mean, just like gigantic amounts of data. Like we could store the entire data of the internet within DNA and it would keep for a million years. That's in DNA. That's so awesome. That, you know, do I want that? Absolutely. Because if anything's going to help us get, you know, over the hump that we're in now, this, these dark ages with technology, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, advancing the storage options and opportunity uh, for surviving past where we are today, it's these types of breakthroughs that are very, very exciting. So uh, apparently it is possible to store data in DNA. You just, it's bits, it's flipping bits, zeros and ones in DNA. Scientists have figured it out. It's a very, very expensive to store a couple of kilobytes right now, like a, a couple thousand dollars. But, you know, over time, as it evolves, imagine that. Imagine a thousand years from now, you know, we've lost everything, but it was still recorded somehow in DNA. And who's to say that, you know, our past hasn't currently been recorded in DNA in some way that we've yet to figure out the key for. So once you have the primer, you can figure out everything else, like a Rosetta Stone that would effectively make it easier for you to translate what was there in front of you in plain sight for all those years. Uh, one hell of a breakthrough. And it'll stay for a million years. My CDs, yeah, I, I don't think they're going to be around that long. Maybe, you know, physically, but the, the data degradation, I remember years ago they were saying like the shelf life for an a optical disc was somewhere around 70 years, something like that. That's where I started to get nervous. But then again, you know, it didn't, it didn't make me as nervous because having data backed up on a CD was certainly better than having data backed up on a uh, uh, on floppy disk. Back in the day. Now it's a completely different story, I tell you what. Uh, we have uh, a couple people who have asked, uh, you know, if we're doing the, the patron-only hangout. Uh, I suppose we could uh, continue to take questions uh, after after this uh, in the same video. So I guess everybody got kind of gets to be a part of the, the patron hangout where I answer uh, even more questions from the community as, as, have been, uh, as have been queued up. And Liz will join me at that point. I think I've covered just about everything I wanted to cover apart from one thing, and that is to say happy pancake day to everybody out there. Congratulations. You made it another year to another pancake day. Uh, we, uh, we did the Star Wars breakfast and the Star Wars pancakes uh, as, to celebrate you know, two things at one, at one time. I like pancakes. I don't eat them often enough, but I'm, I'm also not a huge fan of uh, taking in more sugar than I need to, and pancakes can definitely be a sugary kind of treat when you add real maple syrup. That is a possibility. It happens. So thank you, everybody, uh, for celebrating Happy Pancake Day with me <laughs> and other things and listening to me and watching me and having fun together and reminding me, yes, I need to change this date. It is the 17th, and I had the wrong date there. I apologize for that. If nobody noticed that to this point in the video, I really do love you. I really do appreciate you. And I'm going to hang out with my patrons for about 10 minutes or so. Sometimes uh, the day after, I'm sorry, the day after, right after we broadcast TLDR, I roll into this type of video and interact with uh, a chat room or, or community. And so uh, that's just another bonus you get as one of our active patrons. And I appreciate uh, those who have taken the step forward and, and become an active patron. So I'm not going to say what I normally say at the end of the video, but I am done with the TLDR portion of it. I'm going to go ahead and invite uh, Liz in or any of the other Locker Dome team that would want to join us. We also have uh, times where we invite actual patrons into the Hangout 
as well. Um, and uh, that usually happens once a week. I'm not sure if that's going to be uh, today's or not. I'm going to go ahead and paste that link in there. And now I begin to answer even more questions from the people who have been tuning in to watch me as I streamed this live, as I do every single weekday. Oh, better turn down the volume. Just in case. I think I'm good. You never know. Like You start playing random videos and like bad things happen. Like I start talking to myself. Oh, man. The cardboard, the cardboard touched my tortilla. I don't want to eat the tortilla now. That's bad. Uh, I'm trying to load the chat room right now, too, and that's not working. YouTube is just being poopy for me today. I think it doesn't like, YouTube doesn't like the fact that I'm, I'm calling them on their problems. No, that's not why. That Hi. is definitely not why. Oh, Liz, I can't hear you right now. Uh, there we go. Now I can hear you. You can hear me? Yeah. Let me oh, do the show notes here. Sorry for the mess behind. You should be. Like, you know, I like a clean room. I don't like showcasing messes at all, ever. Happy Pancake Day. Oh, oh, look. Check out my new mug, Chris. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. I, I don't know if I have that one or a derivation of it. It's a huge one, so I don't know if you have it. I don't know if I do either. Okay, everything is stacked there for two... Uh, can't, any questions? Because I can't see no, no, no comments are pulling up for me here at all. We're talking about Hanson and and Henson and Did you dash say dot Hansen? dash you dot, say dot Hansen. Dot that, dot Hansen? Where did I go wrong? <laughs> because he said go go dot tag jag dot com, and then we started talking about I don't know. We always turn yeah. things into something else. Uh, that's great. I, I don't know where to go with that. I, Jim Henson, possibly, but uh, I, I don't know about... Uh, there we go. Did you like my thumbnail when you had your the uh, eyes on your hands? Yeah, I saw it, but I didn't I didn't look too deeply. But hopefully, I'm not the only person, and we're not the only people who watched Labyrinth, not Labyrinth, Pan's Labyrinth, the movie. But, uh, <laughs> that was the creepiest one out of all of them. Like... <gasps> Uh, I don't like that okay, guy. And then he ate the he, and he ate the fairies too, or whatever those things were. I barely re I watched it once, and I'm like, that's likely something I'd watch again, but uh, I don't know. That it was, it, you know, I don't mind reading subtitles either. At all. It was just a weird movie. That's all. That's all it was. I I can't I can't read comments. That's okay. I'll just make up comments. That's great. Uh, Mitchell Wilson's here. It finally came in. It finally came in. I got it. 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 I know Mitchell I'm... Wilson's here. He hasn't been around for a while. He's been busy. Oh, has he? Hi, Mitchell. And Stuart is there. And Ryan's there. And Bob. Well, Bob is here, too. Everybody. And Ross. Yes, and Bob. The thing about the, uh, the going into chat, sometimes you, you talk about Hanson, and I... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I'm completely derailed. Oh, so I pasted Carlos. recorded Tuesday into the chat because I have to mark it down. In, t in the that was the, this is the one that we recorded on Tuesday. This is very important that we distinct we distinguished. This is the Tuesday rundown. We're po posting things that happened on Tuesday. It, this was recorded Tuesday. Recorded Tuesday. Are you sure? Confident. That's so I, I put in the word recorded. It's, it's recorded so that we know oh. it was recorded. Ross wants to know, can you recommend any remote uh, control software for helping customers? That is cute. <laughs> Try uh, GoToAssist.com? Possibly. <laughs> cute. Better than Hanson. Ross sent me a whole bunch of chocolate, so he's a hero. Wow. Oh, look, there's there's an extra Chris Perillo here. Thank you for not... Uh, oh. Even more cute. Thank you for not sending chocolate here. I've got enough snack foods. Way too many snack foods. Okay, I don't, know what to, don't check your mail later this week. Oh, don't? Okay. Uh, no. What do I title this video? Which one? This one. The one, re <laughs> recorded, the one Tuesday. recorded Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard he gave a title. YouTube broke our live stream. Um, uh, I don't have a title for yesterday. Uh, cut. You talked about all kinds of stuff. Uh, cardboard cut. I did. That's the problem with TLDR, but it's also the beautiful thing about TLDR. 
Well, the cardboard cutout was kind of the centerpiece, so... Of today, yeah. Uh, how to put together a cardboard cutout and ruin a live stream at the same time, is that too long? Where? How about where should I put this... Giant Darth Vader. A visit by Darth Hanson. <laughs> Giant... Oh, no. That's pretty evil, I know. We're going really dark side. Oh my goodness, there's a draft in here. My hands are so cold. I'm going to have to get mittens. It's hard to type okay. with mittens. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to title it that and be done with it. Any other questions or cute remarks that do not involve Hanson? Um, let's see. Once you invoke Hanson, it's kind of hard to stop thinking about oh. Hanson. I think we said it three times. Does that mean they show up? <laughs> knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Let's not tempt fate. Let us not. That would be great. Let's see. What else did we talk about? Huh. Oh, we talked about uh, Canadian and British chocolate. What? Um, Honestly, like I, I feel like I'm talking talk to myself. About tech? Oh, I just Stuart, love it. I know. Stuart asked a good question. Um, during the Q&A when we were waiting and stuff, he said, aside from watching, you know, media and, and like, YouTube and stuff like that, what would you, what would people suggest that he do with his, you know, smartphone and tablet and stuff? I suggested photography. Oh, wait. Well, there's a lot of things. Like, you, <clears throat> like old ones or current ones? Just what, what he could do to, to maximize its, its usage. He's in, he's in okay, university. So you could use security camera, uh, universal remote control. Um, it, actually, Earl Green sent me a link to this uh, today. I didn't necessarily talk about it because I thought it was kind of derivative, but um, not from from Earl, but the person who wrote the article. Um, as a, a well, a photo frame, a picture frame for an old uh, for an older tablet. A universal remote control, I think, is the strongest value. I think that that it's it's understated how valuable it is to have a corresponding app to allow you to control other devices around you. And the smartphone seems to be the best uh, universal remote control that I've ever used. Oh, Mitchell's asking about doing a hangout on Friday? Yep. Yeah, we, yeah I think that's the plan. So Mitchell, we'll see, you, uh, we'll see you then. What happens if Jedi starts crying every time she sees the massive cardboard Vader who moves out? Vader or Jedi? <laughs> We've talked about this at points in the past, and that is going to be uh, a very sad day for Chris Perillo. But given that she likes Vader to this point, she loves it. She likes anything dark. She's she, staring at what's the what's the tower? Is it the Tower of Orthanc from uh, yeah. Rings? And she loves and she loves the Pez dispensers, the giant Vader Pez yeah. dispensers too. I like those. Uh, she likes the Vader uh, photograph. Uh, downstairs that has James Earl Jones and Dave Prowse's signature. Yep, she stares uh, at that. So I'm going to acclimate her to the giant Vader, which is freaking huge. Freaking. She'll probably be afraid of something really stupid, Sp like the emoji pillows or right, something. Right. <laughs> like, okay, okay. She's well, like, I don't like that poop one. Get it away. Okay, okay. I don't know why. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, interesting. But uh, I would have to, if Jedi was like really truly afraid of of what she saw, then of course I'd I'd have to I'd have to get rid of it. It would be a very 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 sad day. Did you ever see the movie Follow That Bird, the one where yeah. Big Bird runs away? Yeah. Mrs. Finch, Mrs. Finch. Even oh, yeah. when I see her now, I I'm scared. I I'm deathly afraid of Mrs. Finch. Do you know that Big Bird is now on Twitter? Yes. And he uses an iPhone. Did you know this? Oh, I didn't know that he used an iPhone. Apparently. That's, that's impressive. That's what it said, tweeted from iPhone or whatever. It was an iPhone. I'm telling you. He's four years old and he has an iPhone. That's crazy. Wait, Big Bird's four years old? I think, yeah, Big Bird's four years old. Perpetually? Yeah. And but Elmo is, I think Elmo is either three and a half. I think Elmo is three and a half. Yeah. And a half. <laughs> How do I not? Okay. How do you know this, let alone... I mean, I understand no one the Big Bird uses an iPhone. That's not a stretch. How the hell do you know their age? Because I'm a Bradshaw and we know weird things. Oh. I know because... Uh, I know Elmo's because it was Elmo's birthday. Yeah. Uh, a couple weeks ago. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. The Muppet birthdays. Yeah. I almost forgot. They're actually, they're actually older than us, though. Really. Slightly. 
Um, Stuart asks, where did your Vader collection um, come from, or where did you, when did you decide, or how did you decide to collect uh, Vader? I think I did a video on that a long time ago. Okay, well, you couldn't answer now. Um, I could, but I won't. Uh, no, I, it was, uh, uh, it was the original Darth Vader figure. Someone gave me the first, uh, the Kenner, uh, three and a, three, what is it, three and three quarter inch figure, mm -hmm. uh, the classic Kenner one, and it was what I had, I'm like, hey, it's cool, I like Star Wars, cool, cool. And then I looked at it, I'm like, and then I had, for some reason, there was a little Lego Darth Vader, and I put it next to it, I'm like, you know, I, I, these can't be the only two Vaders, you know, there's gotta be others, Right. You know, it's they gotta have friends, and so then it just it went from there, and then I had oh. a on, on a shelf. I mean, it, just just the figures though, and then I think I got the silver giant Pez dispenser, not that one. I actually got rid of it because for a while I was actually getting rid of things, and I didn't have the Darth Vader stuff anywhere for a long time. It was like that's the period of my life that I like to call the very dark period. <laughs> so an, an insanely dark period where I put away my Darth Vader stuff and tried to pretend to be a grown up for a brief while. And then ultimately, I pulled it out one day. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Put them on the shelf. Someone, someone made a comment. I don't know somewhere on YouTube today and said, "Why don't you grow up and stop like we're collecting all these things and whatever, and and act like an adult and I'm like what? <laughs> Get a life." Yeah. Sure. How's that working for him? Uh huh. What are, what, are, what are people going to do if they're not enjoying what they like? Exactly. They want to be, hey, be an adult. Knock yourself out. I don't care how you choose to live life. I don't. I don't at all. As long as it doesn't bring harm to somebody else, I don't care. I don't... You know what? The, the, an electron microscope could not find any amount of interest. Any amount of interest. That's that's how much... That's how little I care. How much I care, how little I care, I don't care. But everyone, everyone's interested... So are you going to tell people that watch hockey to, like, stop being interested in hockey because it's juvenile? Like, yeah. Stop following sports because that's something only kids do. Yeah. Right? Stop it. Stop it. Stop watching TV because that's only for kids. Stop watching movies. That's only for kids. If something brings you joy, you should suppress it. Yes. Right? Stop eating pizza, Bob. Oh. <laughs> nope. Oh, Ross is going to bed. That's right. Stop eating candy. Candy's for kids. What else is for kids? Uh, YouTube is only for kids. Um, let's see tricks. here. Tricks are for kids. What else? Tricks. Tricks are for kids. kids Screw are. It. I'm going to eat tricks. I'm eating tricks in a video. You know, I God, I still can't help but think. I just, I'm, I'm still thinking through. Okay, so like, I really shouldn't have said what I said in CPU today because I really want to open up Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, like, now you have to wait. And now I have to wait for what's so likely not going to happen. I'm so stupid. I am so uh, stupid. Uh, um, yesterday, someone someone uh, mentioned on your Twitter that they're just uh, like starting to collect Pez. I should contact them and be like, I have 300 if you'd like some. Computers are for kids too, by the way. Yep. All of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. People are special. Mm -hmm. They are. Fun is for kids. Adults should never have fun. Ever. You'll have fun when you die. That's it. <laughs> so today's CPU video was awesome. I really liked the, the way it the way it worked out. The the Hydra. It was a good one. Uh oh yeah. Oh that one. Did anybody did everybody else? Well, I told people, people in the chat were saying, oh, it's a great, yeah, it was great. I'm like, write comments. We look at comments. John looks at comments. Chris looks at comments. We like the comments. We actually cannot read people's minds. They might think it's exactly. great, but, but we don't, you know. And we care. Lots, we care. Of, lots of comments for uh, Diana's enchiladas, too. Okay. The Diana enchiladas. <laughs> and then someone said, why didn't you show anyone eating it? So then I said that, we finished filming that one at 2 in the morning yeah. and we forgot. <laughs> no one wanted to be seen on film anyway. I, I don't want to be seen eating a burrito. Enchilada. I, that's what I said. I said enchilada. Rewind the video. I clearly said enchilada. Sometimes YouTube audio gets messed up. Yeah. Yep. Burrito. See, I just said enchilada again. Did it do it again? Exactly. It translated. Taco. Taco. 
so I was stupid. Back to that. I, I, why did I say that? But I can't take it back now, and I don't want to take it back. But uh, I feel get bad. a second one. No. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna. Mm. See, I can't help but I can like, you know, I'm putting those in CPU episodes, but I can't help but think, and I don't know if <laughs> I'm back to thinking, what do I do? And I know. I know there's an audience out there. I know there's a community out there, and there's a great community that we currently have, but I can't help but think there's a, a greater community that is not yet, I've not yet met. Like, I just can't help but think, and, 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 and I don't know if that, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to be able to pull this off, because I, I just can't, I, you know, the thematic, the way we've structured our themes is general, but it just, it seems to be hitting a very, small part of who I think we could be engaging with. Like, do, you know, do I do a separate video, or do... I don't want to create separate channels. I really genuinely do no. not. I don't think you have to, really. But I but do, I think, Bob. That's the problem. I think some of the stuff that we've been doing, like, when we, ta when, when we tweet out and we include the company names, or we include someone in that field, that's actually been helping with engagement, yeah. too. Yeah. I know, but the problem is... And, is and we need to... Yeah, but it's not that difficult, right, Bob? No, no. It's just, you know, we just... Okay, but, but it is, because the problem is... That, okay, so you, 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 I understand you're talking about discovery, and that's, that's great, because that's a, that's a good part of it, is discovery, and that's another reason why I like doing what we're doing, especially with the CPU stuff. I really like that kind of variety show mentality. I like doing TLDR, long form. It's, you know, it's based on a lot of feedback and a lot of stuff that I might find interesting for the day. I like that. It seems a lot of people do as well. The Q&A, we got a deeper dive on one particular topic, long form, live, unedited. I can't, I can't um, better accommodate some things that, that would attract that group of people that would be interested in some of those things that I was talking about, but not everything that I was talking about. For example... What does a beef jerky candy bar taste like? Is that a full-on CPU episode? It's it's to me, it's a minute video. To me, it's a vlog kind of video. Mm -hmm. Where does that go? It doesn't go in the vlog channel. The vlog is just pretty much just vlogs and family. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go in Diana's channel, obviously. Well, then it's Chris Perillo. Lifestyles channel, right? But it's Chris Perillo. But Chris Perillo can Chris Perillo can make a hundred videos a day and push out a hundred videos a day if if he wants to because that's Chris Perillo's channel. Chris Perillo's channel has over six thousand videos of all sorts of things and tons of people are subscribed. But and how do, I, but, but how do I how do I serialize it? Because it's like to me this is food, and someone who's no. interested in food is not interested in Darth Vader, is not interested in. Toys is not interested in. in yeah, CPU but it's a variety. It's it's Chris Perillo. CPU accommodates it, but I don't know if it's. It's 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 wonderfully produced. I love producing it, but it's just it's it's. I can't help but think that this is worth a separate video, but I just don't. So or, or that this is worth video. a separate video, but not necessarily a CPU. I don't want to, you know. So do a separate video. What's stopping you? And then you can because I'm trying to formalize. I'm trying to formalize it into yeah. I, I, you know into like okay CPU is the variety show. It's the edit. It's upbeat. John okay. takes care of a million things, and you never know what it's going to be. It's tech. It's geek. It's Chris talking about something he just wants to talk about. Right. It's it's that type of stuff. But where does you call it something? That's what I'm saying. Like what what is this? What is this? A Chris like, clip. Consistently. I don't know. A Chris clip. I I, I don't know, Bob. You have words. Yeah, I <laughs> use my words. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I think that including that kind of stuff in a variety format like CPU is fine. I don't but think buried, you have to. No, it's both fine and it's not fine. It buries the value of discovery because, okay, so like some people have discovered the stuff that we're doing because of the beer stuff that I was doing because they did a search for like Hobbit beer or mm – -hmm whatever the stout was, and then they dig in deeper and they see the CPU stuff. So part of that is for outward-facing discovery, but but so much of it is like, I'm, I don't want to do a whole video about... I mean, I want to do a video about what does a beef jerky candy bar taste like? But mm -hmm. I don't... Or like the Coke, like trying new things. I like trying new things, right? So trying a new product. So is it like a, 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 a tester, you know, testing a... 
you know, Chris tests this or Chris tastes this. Chris well, tests. I'll, I'll give you an example. Graveyard Girl, who I think Diana watches or whatever. She did. She folk. She did makeup tutorials forever, and now she does. Does this thing actually work? And it's she basically reviews as seen on TV things. Oh yeah, I've seen her. Yeah, but like, so you could do something that's you know a minute long, mm -hmm. or two minutes long, or whatever. It doesn't have to be edited fancy or anything. Yeah. And now I'm just gonna start the baby. Oh, hi, sweet hun. What happened to her nose? Oh, you get you scratched your nose? Oh no! Is she reading the chat? I think. Yeah, she's I, the chat. No, she is uh, uh, currently cosplaying as a garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a nap. She's, she's a garden gnome. She is. She just oh. a tall, pointy hat. Mm-hmm. She's been quiet today. I think uh, she's been going through some growth spurts as of late. Uh, she likes the Tix Clocks, loves the Tix Clocks. You like Darth Vader and things that glow. Okay, I'm going to now expose her to the stand-up Darth Vader to see what it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you should have the vlog camera, too. You know, baby vlog camera, uh, hangout, full she, her, she Her head's going from side to side. Oh, oh, oh no. <gasps> oh, no. Uh. No, it, I don't think it, I have nothing to do with that at all. I don't think it had anything to do with Darth Vader. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> She'll get used to it. She's It'll be fussy. fine. No, Diana was saying she's kind of fussy lately. So has she? Uh, has she just woken up, or does she? I think she, she needs to go to bed before she can yeah. wake. See, looks a little, little sleepy. <laughs> Are you going to laugh again if I cough? <coughs> oh. <laughs> Your misery is one of my favorite things. <laughs> oh, no. Did it turn into a real cough? <laughs> Maybe that's why she likes Vader, because he's got respiratory problems, too. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> All right, hon. i got to continue with my uh, hangout there. Yeah, see? It's all good. Oh, Diana's holding something, sorry. Oh, no. oh, I had to toss the other thing, uh, your, the not the enchilada, but the uh, tortilla, mm -hmm. because the cardboard touched it. Oh. I didn't want to. Dude, you don't know what's on the cardboard. Jeez. That's crazy. Everyone's liking your enchilada video, Diana. Oh, good! Yay! Oh, uh, did the spaghetti challenge video go up already? Did we get a thousand? I don't think we got a thousand yet, but that was for Diana to do her uh, million dollar recipe. Oh, yeah. The million dollar spaghetti. You really Why does Google Plus kill... My frame rate locally is amazeballs, but if I look at the Google Plus Hangout, it's like dropping every other frame, I swear. Yep. That's YouTube. <sighs> Okay, so back on to the thing that you're talking about. Um, yeah. how, do do, do like, like how, how do I how do I do something that's a quick minute long, every day, every weekday, or whatever? I I I would or put whatever it, you want. Whatever. I don't think I, I don't think about, should... I want to say, look, I got this. Look, I got this. Look, I got this. You know, and that's the kind of thing, or because everything else goes into the vlog, but it's that way. If someone's searching for beef jerky, candy bar, beef jerky chocolate. Like, look, I bet if I can go to, hang on, let me look, beef jerky chocolate. Choc yeah, beef jerky chocolate. Well, even when you guys did the hangout where you tried all the Canadian chocolate bars, that got tons of views after. Right. Like it got two thousand extra views, like within two weeks of it airing. So right. it's the kind of thing where if you did do a minute or two minute long video that's not necessarily produced, maybe it does have a bumper though, you know? Uh, possibly generically, and I'd have to do that on my end because I'm trying to. Yeah. You know, cycle. Yeah, but I do. I do that. Like for you, volunteer. We have a bumper, and you just get you just get me to annotate it. You know what it's I mean? Fine. But it, like again, the variety show. But it's just like I can't help but think that someone who's looking for beef jerky is not interested in a Weird Al Yankovic toy. Is no. not interested in a Plastic Man minifigure. Is not interested in 
a cardboard cutout is not interested in, you know, beer. Beer. It's not. I mean, I just don't. That's the problem with honestly. That's the biggest problem I have because I don't think but enough. For example, food. in the you blog, you got me, and that's great. I don't mind. Dogs, right. I don't mind. Like, the, yeah. What? Like in the vlog, you guys had the hot dogs, but you could do a one-minute-long video of you trying those hot dogs. Right. But I'm, I'm. I just don't. But that trying a fancy, awesome food doesn't necessarily fit if I'm saying. Look at this awesome figure I just got. But I still want to show the awesome figure. Um, Ross says Chris discovers. But in some cases I didn't just discover that I mean Okay. Chris you know, tries. Chris something. I know, I just don't have the theme. Perillo <laughs> picks is the only thing that I can think of going back to that and just having dedicated, you know, one thing or another. But it just it's so it's so subjective and I just don't I can't But I don't know. I mean, that's still appropriate. I mean, I don't think being somewhat general is is inappropriate. And I know what you're saying is you want to pinpoint There's no, the audience. I'm, I'm too, I have too many interests. And yeah. unfortunately, that's, that is a very unfortunate fact. Because YouTube categorizes, or you tend to subscribe to people because, and I do the same thing. I'll subscribe to a channel because, oh, it's Star Wars. Or I'll subscribe to a channel because, oh, Lego, right? Um, and I might care about the other things they do, but that's primarily the reason I'm subscribed to that channel. I don't necessarily follow the personalities that way. And so, to me, the only mental way of separating these things is absolutely having different channels. Uh, okay, I'm going to say one thing, and this is something that I've learned over the past I hate different six channels. months. A lot of people that subscribe to you from the very beginning and are still here, they don't care what you're producing. They like you. So, out of that 300 and something thousand people... There are people that they might not watch every day, but they tune in. Like I told you, I, I met Randy Anderson. He's a vlogger now. He's been watching you forever. John has been watching you forever. There are people who watched you since you live streamed everything. And and they just watch you because you're Chris Perillo. So I don't think you should worry about it so much because obviously in the title and also in playlists, we can categorize these things. Mm -hmm. But if you do decide to try making one one or two minute videos of you trying something for the first time or whatever, I say do it. Yeah, because I don't think it needs to be. Because I'm gonna try like the uh, uh okay Diana got and I we did it in the vlog and I even said it like it, it, the vlog that I'm editing from yesterday still haven't done. Um the uh the green cokes Coca Cola has a green product that's got stevia which is a natural yeah. sweetener yeah. or at least to, well natural enough and cane sugar. And I tried it. I'm like, you know, I'm be I bet there's a lot of people, if I search for, like, whatever the search term is, like, green Coke commercial, green Coke ad, green Coke advert, uh, green Coke. I would call it, like, green Coke. Uh, and or just, it. it would be trying green Coke. Right. But this is not, this is not exactly trying. And this is not, it's like, I can't Unboxing help but, See, to me, if, if I had a higher quality camera here, and whether it's a webcam or something like that, it'd be like almost from this perspective. Like you're sitting in front of the webcam and you're doing something like that or the, the, even the vlog-esque yeah. kind of thing. Um, but I just can't... I can't help without any kind of predictability. Like is, it gonna, is Chris going to talk about Star Wars Day? I love that about CPU. I just don't know if enough yeah. people love that about CPU. I just don't know if they do. Because it's not topic. It's, it's not topic-based. It's it's personality based, and I'm not sure if people see, support you, I just, is a personality. Are you do you, see, do you see people's comments now? No, I see a few, but honestly, I just I get I got so tired of the trolling. But so it's tired. no, no, I'm talking about the comments in the in the in the live stream chat right now. Like everyone just agreed with me. A lot of people that have been around forever are there for you. And then other people well, could. Where are they? I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, I know they're because, there. And I know they get busy. Well, we know that the, I, we know that things have been saturated. We know that the market has been saturated, but, <sighs> but you could still draw in people that are looking for the weird to see what the weird owl figure looks like, or to see what what do you know what green coke tastes like, and then there's the people that just watch anything that Chris Perillo makes. You'd I think when you have too many channels, people 
wind up missing more than yeah. than finding. But if you stick, but if you keep that in Chris Perillo, I don't think you're going to lose anyone. That's what I'm saying. I'm not worried about losing anyone. I'm worried about finding the people that are looking that 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 fit what I do, because that's my that that's the biggest hurdle I've had even in social. Like I, I mean I don't. I, some people want to talk about things that I'm just not interested in because I might have talked about a topic mm -hmm. at some point in the past. I'm not interested. And I say put it on Chris Perillo and don't worry. You know, we can categorize things. We can add product links where we need to add product links. We can do all that sort of stuff. I say we just do it. And then the stuff that you want produced, obviously would be in the CPU. And the stuff, hey, you might find that um, you're trying a different soda every week or something like that, and right. all of a sudden you're getting thousands of, you know, views based on that. Then you start doing a CPU or like this, you know, like the snack and stuff sort of thing. Then you do CPUs that are focused on that. Right. You know, I, I think it's a, it's a great way to throw things out there without having um, John have to edit right. everything like right. crazy. And then if it's something that does stick, then use it for a CPU. And you might find that CPUs, like, one day you'll be doing toys, another day you'll be, you might end up categorizing it like that eventually. But yeah. right now, I, CPU yeah, right as now, a variety, it's, it's awesome. It, I think it's fantastic. I, li I like doing it because it gives me the freedom to be me and yeah. not get locked into, okay, so, like, you'll see it in the vlog that was recorded yesterday. I went back and I, I, I answered a question that someone asked, Yesterday and then today, I answered another question about someone asked about beer. Mm -hmm. If I make my own beer, and I'm like, no. And I answered the question. It was uh, MK. Yeah. And um, I answered that one in today's vlog. But yesterday, someone was asking about being a freelancer, and I I, ke I kept talking around it. And it was actually the bulk of it of the vlog, which I thought was valuable. But I talked through it, and you know, ultimately said, you know, I I like. When I write, I like writing about the things I like writing about. When I do a video, I like doing a video about the things I like doing a video about. And it's like it just it it's it that's the issue when it's it's just topic based. And someone may only want to subscribe to, they may only want to see, like I am not going to do a CPU on this product. I'm mm -hmm. just not. So the only thing it's going to fit into is a Roundup, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, but I still want to talk about it because I got the freaking Bizarro Lego Batman minifig. Yeah. This is freaking awesome. Or like. Uh, uh, for example, another thing. That, oh, hang on. I brought it upstairs. I think I'm so thrilled. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, it's downstairs. Okay, you guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna go get it. Talk amongst <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> Discuss. But that's if you look at the chat, that's what everyone's saying, and and it's something that I've only discovered in the last little while because the reason I was interested in Chris was and Diana was because of the vlogs. That's how I found them. But a lot of other people, especially people that are now going into their like their late twenties, early thirties, they've been watching Chris since they were since they started wa using computers on their own. Mm -hmm. Right. And like I was talking to this guy, Randy Anderson. He lives in uh, Alabama, and he's like, you, you know, he no. was, we were hanging out at at, at Flavors Live, and he's like, yeah, I've been watching Chris forever, and John has, and Matt Philly has, and. Mitchell has. Yeah, but for, well, I've done a variety of topics in the past, and some of them work better than others. But they like you for you. Generally, some people are only interested in one part of me, and I. Well, then... YouTube doesn't let you carve up in 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 any capacity, just a part of well, something. That's why we have. That's why we have geek lifestyles for the for the long form that's stuff. Right. That's why we have the Perlo vlogs. That's why Dana has her channel, and then Chris Perlo is everything. Chris Perlo. Take it or leave it. At yeah. this point, that's 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 what I. I mean, you, you can agonize about that. categorizing things, and then you then you over categorize things. You say, well, okay, we have a food channel. Oh, but uh, can we talk about uh, you know beef jerky and enchiladas? Yeah. I don't know. Do we need a channel for each of it. those things? Don't worry so much about categorizing. Just do what you've been doing, and you know the the. Your passion for those things is is what's going to come through. Worrying about how to categorize things, um, I, I don't know that that's going to make it 
better. I think that that it makes it harder for for people to find things. Well, but it, but even people then, love to hard. yeah. But pe people love to put people in boxes, and that's and, the problem. And, but the thing that people like about Chris Perillo is that he's not stuck in a box. I don't know. I have a feeling that some people want me Except stuck in a box. He won't unbox. He won't do unboxing videos and. That's just so disappointing for, you know, the 14-year-old boys that aren't going to watch you anyway sometimes. Right. You know? So like you this. do a Chris Perillo unboxing where you, where you fight your way out of a box. I would love to do that. I would love to put you in a box. No, there's a TARDIS box. Have you seen that? You saw it, Bob. I know you saw it. The, the cardboard TARDIS. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Is it, uh, is it an actual box or is it like a stand-up? I think it's a box. I think it's like a stand-up, but I think it's a box you can go in. I think. Oh. i got to ask Chris. But see, I got this today. Yeah, it's an old wax pack, Empire Strikes Back trading cards, like still sealed and everything. You can hear the gum inside. Where did you, where did you get that? Because I know I, I found a link to that um, on Bubblegum Day. That was it, yeah. Amazon. Amazon. That exact thing. It was like five bucks or whatever. I'm like, dude, it's in great condition. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. Dude. But so I now now I we can, blame Bob for that. I cannot do a CPU episode about... Ah, oh, look at it! It's an old wax yeah. pack, and oh, geez, look at it. I mean, it's so like I could geek out about it for about a minute and then move on with life, you know. I and think the stuff. I think the stuff that we're doing right now, if we stay the course with this, it's been going since at least the fall. All of this, this stuff, the formula that we have set up, especially the way Bob does the blog post for the CPUs, and it's easy to do the affiliate links. And then we, we upload uh, the Facebook CPU. It's, yeah, and it's easy to recycle it on Twitter. It's easy to, you know, especially the CPUs, the ones that aren't, you know, like not Christmas ones or whatever, even the Christmas ones. If we and, and same with Diana's videos, they're really easy to recycle. And then if you want to add this in too, but don't change anything that we have existing, obviously. Right. And, and today, was the the first day, today was the first day you uploaded a, a CPU to Facebook, right? Was Second that, day. Today was kind of the Second day. Oh, okay. okay. So, like, okay, so, like, right now... Well, the Pancake Day views on Facebook, according to Facebook stats, have already topped the views on uh, that we've had for over a week's time on YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah. Okay. So it just tells me, number one, we're on the right path with sharing CPU episodes on Facebook. Number two, an example of something like whatever the series is called, or like, uh, in a wor hello world, Chris Perillo here. I just got an Empire Strikes Back wax pack. This is the way non-sports trading cards used to come. And I'm not going to open it because it's a collector's item. I didn't get yeah. two. I probably should have, but I didn't. And it's still sealed. You can hear the gum inside. And here's the thing. Years later, I'm confident this gum would taste exactly the same yeah. <laughs> as it tasted the day that they packaged it. Yeah, and then open. you could post that to Facebook. And exactly, that's what I'm saying. So it goes as a video on YouTube, it goes as a video on Facebook. So, it, it, but it, because I'm thinking down that path where it's just the individual, the product highlight, the product feature. Yeah, product, well, whatever, in the not, chat, not spending in the so chat. much time on it. Because it just, that's the video. It's like, this is it. Look at it. I mean, that, it, it, a minute long and a minute later, and like you'll see this, you know, floating about. If you know of any other products like this, let me know. You know, old nostalgic products, I would love it. And life moves on. Life's yeah, done. It's like a minute-long video. The other thing Stuart, Stuart just mentioned, um, the whole patron thing is tailored to the people who want to. So if you did a, a CPU quickie or whatever, but he suggested that as a name, if you did something like that, then you would have it out to the patrons early. Even right. if it's just a quickie, they would get it early. They would probably... I like the week early cycle because that gives enough time for us to get the affiliate link if it's something that needs an affiliate link. It gives me time to do the thumbnail, whatever else. Um, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. See, then I also got this. This is going to be in the pop video, uh, talking yeah. about pop vinyl, but it's also a good separate video, the Darth yeah. Vader holographic. You know, this is like, this is going to be very rare. I think it's a very, very limited edition. I don't know if it's individually numbered, but uh, this was a special one from the Paris Comics Expo. That's the only place where they've released it. So I'm like, <gasps> yeah! You're like, oh. yes, please! And that's the only place where they've released this particular uh, uh, Funko. And I'm like, I this is like a video that fits within why is, what's Funko Pop? Was it a big deal? And that's okay, great. So what are we going to call this? I, Liz, I don't freaking know. 
And I think that's a great title. I don't freaking know. Hmm. Welcome to my frustrations, hey, everybody. Stu Hayden I like talking said, about stuff. That's he just not said C CPQ. Chris Perlow, quick. Quickie. Quickie? No, I don't, know. I, I don't want to use quickie because uh, Linus is already doing his tech quickie stuff, and I, I don't. Oh, okay. Know. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, yeah, CPM. I, don't know, I don't know what to call it. CPM. Chris Perlo minute. You're so funny. You you don't even know why that's geeky, do you? Um. I give up on life. I should. I should. I should. No, you shouldn't. Actually, it predates okay. a lot of uh, a lot of people who watch. So I don't know where to fit those fascinating, fun, these are the things, all my favorite things, kind of like, these are a few of my favorite things. I don't know. But may, but see, if I try something, that may not be my favorite, right? I'm like, yeah. this is horrific. I don't ever want to stick something like this in my mouth again. You know, like, right. So it might, it might be a miss. Yeah, hit or miss, right? Mm -hmm. Hit or miss. But, see, that's the thing. is like, this is a hit because, obviously, it's Darth Vader. So? Big fat win. You could have 16,000 hits and five misses. Who cares? Or, like, a t-shirt. It's rough. It's a great design, but it's too rough. Yeah. It's a miss. But, see, it's not always just about the product stuff. It may be, like, okay, I found this app today. Like, like the, the Hydra. It came together. I very... like hit or miss. I like hit or miss. But finding, but finding the uh, which you know is kind of like my life in general. Um, exactly. It's very, very, uh, very meta that title. Um, I think like, we should. Use, like, I like hit or miss. Like talking Bob, about, you, you know. Yeah, something in that vein. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, I like I got like the Outlook app, and I'm like, I really don't like this at all. Everyone's talking about it. And I'm like, you can try it. It's free, but. I don't think it's worth using for free. I think the UI is horrific. I think it's there are far better email clients out there, and I'm a fan of Google Inbox. So, for for the in, until they update it, I'm I, I consider. But I don't want. I I like it or miss. I, I, like, I think that's I think that's good. And 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 then people would tune in to see what it is, and then you just have like you have like a little graphics that, that that I, miss. But, ah, some of the things I buy like are automatic hits. Like Lego. This is I. Hello, big. It's Lego. It's a hit, you know. What or, if you open it up and it, you have to put stickers on it? <laughs> but I don't want to open everything up. I can't open everything up. It's just like okay, and then just mm. off. I don't know. There's a pain hit game. Are you kidding me? No. I find most amazing things on Locker Gnome now. It's just <laughs> a pain <laughs> game. Oh, what? by the way, in in the comments, someone. Someone said that you have a bot. Bob, you are a bot. I am. I'm a Bob bot. Yeah. Bob they bot. said you have a you have a, a bot, bot that that processes all these products every day. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think I saw that comment. Yeah, I was, I, um, I was almost flattered because robots are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Bob Bob is a bot. Mm -hmm. How do you spell that then? It would be a. Mm. I mean, Hy Hy Hydra, I probably wouldn't have done as a CPU episode. I mean, if I was really excited about it and jazzed about it, like, I would talk about it dedicated, but I probably would have just used, you know, like a little, like, like here, here's what you can do, here's a, sh here's a sample, but then people would be looking for, I mean... <laughs> I like hit or miss, or, or, I like, or Perillo picks, and then you could say whether it's a pick or a pan. I don't know. Chris Perillo targets. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, I did something wild. Though. I did a series called "Why I Like." Yeah. Like, but I ran out of topics. I'm like, I, I've liked a lot of things, and I, I mean, wh how how far do I go in talk in terms of talking about something that I like? Why I like this? Why I like that? Why I like this? And but I, I just can't. Uh... There's so many good things that could come from it. It's 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 accommodating it. I, I just got to mm -hmm. think through it. Hit or miss may be a possibility. Pick or pan, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it doesn't take much in, in self-editing or whatever to, to put a little graphic up or to put an end slate. End slates are easy. You don't have to have it, an end slate with a video like, like John does. Because, like, for you, volunteer, we had someone... Someone made an end slate for us, and then it's all annotated, just like just like uh, Ross said that he really liked the end slate for Diana's. 
It doesn't have to be animated or anything. Well, John's working on that. So, like this. Yeah. Like, here's an example. Like, this is, you know, the, the Sabine and, and, and yeah. Star Wars figure. Like, okay, this is a look-see, so I, you know, I got this because, you know, obviously Sabine, hello, and Stormtrooper, hello. Yeah. But I want, you know, like, five points of articulation showing it off, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, giving people kind of like that take. But I just don't. That it's an obvious thing. This is this is going to be a good thing versus mm-hmm. just trying something new that I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. And I just can't help but think that it's just it's 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 a constant flow of this. Here's something. Here's something. You know, Green Coke. Here's something. Uh, you know, a uh, Star Wars figures or yeah. a pop vinyl or you know a ba- external battery pack that I got that just doesn't fit anywhere else, but I might use or I might I, I might have picked up for somebody or might have found out about it and I'd want to talk about it and, and so there's an affiliate or, link attached to it. Right. Yeah but pick, pick or pan, that, that sounds Yeah. Peter Pan? Pick, pick or pa- pick or pass. Yeah. Peter Pan? Yeah. Mm. Pick or pass. Perillo pick, pick or pass. Pick your nose. Yeah. Pick your peppers. Perillo picks. People like the Perillo Pick series. They did. It didn't. I I wanted more. It was it basically Perillo picks evolved into CPU, effectively. Yeah. Yeah. But if this is a a, a quick, you know, quick, less than less than two minute thing. Yeah, or something like that. Or like I just got the new Darth Vader comic number two. Here's what it looks like. This is awesome. I'm gonna read the first few pages. Oh, duh, duh, you know, whatever the hell it is. I'm like yes, this yeah. is awesome. Did you get it? You know, did you not? And just like, but that's not it. Uh, I can't help but not know who that audience is. I don't know the audience that's interested in beef. Then you've done a, they find you and, and you find them. I just when don't has, know who they are. Why are you worrying about that? Because it's plagued me for the longest time. Stop worrying about it. Oh sure. If only if only I could just not worry about it. Nah. Let's just not worry about it. No, but try it. Well, and that's then what we'll figure so it out. I, want, I want to start it the best way I possibly can, and I just need okay. to think through what that type of video is, because I feel, I feel it's like this style of a video where it's like the the cam, the webcam is sitting there. I press a button, I hit record, and I do something like, oh, I need to check it out. Here's this, here's that. Look at this, pretty awesome. Uh, or well, take your vlog camera. Yeah. Uh, or you could you you could always use the camera that you use for CPU and do it, uh, but just not. It's that's a little involved. I don't want to go that okay. far. It's a little too involved. The vlog camera works because a it's 60 frames per second, and uh, b you know I got the preview of the image so I can kind of see you know what's going on. I can shoot it as close as I can live to tape so that I don't have to worry. We just want to do a minimum. But I think it'd be of easier if you were just if you were stationary. I need enough to move the camera around too much. Right. I just you can always put the vlog camera on a tripod. Uh, I see. I, I can imagine like setting like the camera on this kind of thing and then pointing it forward, getting a decent angle, and then making sure I'm recording and everything, and then like talking through it. Like, yeah, check it out. As long as it only takes you like you know ten minutes of your day. Ten minutes, right? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. But I don't know what it's. It's so random. Just like CPU is so random. It's a variety. It's like yeah. But I mean, these, well, with, these kinds of things happen. I mean, they they evolve too. Like sometimes you'll you'll try something and then that leads to a better way of doing it than you you wouldn't have thought it off the bat. But you know, it presents itself. It it evolves. So so <laughs> worrying about making sure you get off on the right foot. Well, I want to. I want to give people something that I know that they can expect. I want to give people at least something they they can expect. Mm-hmm. And that's that's part of. I know what the idea. But it's is. tough to do when you don't know yourself what to expect. But that's what I'm saying. Is is it's the unexpected, right? It's just like CPU. Like what? Are, what do we call it? I don't know. CPU. Chris Perillo's universe, right? Chris Perillo unexpected. Chris Perillo unboxing. Chris Perillo. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it, that could fit. So many different things. I know. Uh huh. I don't think that's. I don't think that's a bad thing. I know you think it is, <laughs> but uh, it is because so many people just want that one thing. Don't. 
I, I Liz, I've seen it. I see it every day. I know, but I don't like those people, and they're not I, your community. I I don't disagree. Because so, it, and then the moment you decide, like, well, you don't feel like doing that one thing anymore, then it's kind of the same thing. It just evolves like again. CPU. It just evolves. Like, okay, I don't want to. I'm tired of talking about you know food yeah. now forever. Yeah, I'm done with blind bags. There, done. Done. Yeah. I'm done with blind bags. You, know, you have a big box of them, and I would go there and open all of them if I was there right now. <laughs> so, I, want so, yeah, I think I think just going along with the CPU, the way that they've been going. Yeah, that's fine. I think CPU is fine. I think that the way we're doing it now is is okay. I'm saying I'm just adding something to the mix that accommodates. Yeah. You know, because this was going to be a snack and that's the snack and stout because I figured beer and food or drink and yeah. food. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like it's a good mix of trying new things, and I like it. I get to try something new, and something different than otherwise I would try. Versus. Here's something that I don't know if I really want to save for a CPU if it's going to work, but let's try it. Let's let's give it a shot here and and rock and roll, right? So yeah, yeah I mean you could just do just like just like you show things in TLDR, like yeah. you say, oh, I just I got this, this, I just got that, but because I'll show them in TLDR, break it up into like a minute, and no one will no one will ever see half the things I show in, in TLDR. They just yeah, won't. and I'm I'm talking about taking those small things that don't fit inside of one thing or another. That may be a footnote mm -hmm. that, that someone might find value in elsewhere. Like that that the huge thing, like Hydra. I'm like, to me, I can't imagine someone having an iPhone and using the default camera, which most people do, and not looking for something that had better options. To me, like all the feature sets in Hydra, I'm like, this is just a, it's a better camera app. It's not perfect, but it's the best thing that I've come along to the point where I'm like, I think I can do an episode around this. And the thing is, for someone like me, I would never have thought of that. But Chris Perillo showed me that it's an option. Right. That and that's that's kind of the goal. Is like and that's without you doing a video. Right. What's on my phone? And, and that's that. Well, I'm not gonna do a what's on. No, my that's phone. what I'm saying. That's without you doing a video. What's on my phone? Right. If you find so, a cool app, you, then I talk about it. Right. And you that talk about it. A quick demo. It and, but it doesn't. Th those types of things. I would like the jot thing that I talked about like today. Yep. I probably wouldn't have done a a, a a CPU video on because it's like it's really it's just it's. it's it's a minute long, dude. I found this app. This is something that I've been looking forward to to see and use. I couldn't do a video on that. I could wrap it in TLDR, but I, I don't know. I, you know, it's something I want to talk about because I'm like, I needed this app. It works really, really well. It was 99 cents. It was it changed my life because I've needed this for so long. That would be an example of like a a, a separate type of just a quickie, like minute long. Try it for yourself. Don't try it. I don't. I don't care what you do. I'm just excited that this app exists. Thank you for creating this app. Bam. That kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, why not try it? Why not try a couple? Because I want to. I want to try it, but I want to try it. I want to start out the quote-unquote right way. Okay. Just so, do like a micro CPU? Kind yeah. of. Like a live-to-tape micro CPU kind of thing. Why don't you make some, put them unlisted, show them to the patrons, and get their feedback? <laughs> okay, Liz, Liz, I hear you. You have guinea pigs. You have guinea pigs. Everybody who's watching TLDR, this is honestly, this is a lot, of, a lot like this is what happens. Like people ask questions, it gets we go off on tangents, and we talk about direction stuff that most people don't a probably don't care about, but we have no insight into. And so anybody who's still tuned into this, however long I've been doing this, because this is still the TLDR video, by the way. Yep. Um. All right, I'll work on something. Bob, are you okay being I'll part of this video? Out. Did you sign your release? Did yeah. I sign my release? Yeah, I signed it by pressing that button. I think. I I, I, <laughs> I literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, six things. One, two, three, three things of which I I got today. Yeah. Like, you know, or even when someone like a patron sends something, or, or like a you know, a, one of the nomies sends something. Anybody sends something in the vlog, it's usually just in that vlog. Like, I don't do, or I might talk about it in TLDR, but, it like, it doesn't go beyond that. Or, like, I've got a Darth Vader cutout. I don't know if that's going to be a dedicated CPU video, but it's still... Or we have Darth Vader's crotch. Right, it's Darth Vader crotch. My favorite band. 
<laughs> metal band. It's a great metal band. You should uh, listen to it. Call Thanos Crunch. Uh, so, anyway, that's just where my head's at lately. Okay. Perhaps right in front of the camera, too. That, I, that is exactly, that is precisely where my head at is, is at lately. Wouldn't, couldn't it be just called CPU Live? Uh, I don't know no, what's wrong with then you'd have the pressure to have it live. Then I, yeah, I <laughs> Anyth- anytime I shoot something live, I tend to talk for a long freaking time. And my CP, idea is to make it CP short. new. I don't know. CP new. No, it's just, it's just Chris Perillo's universe. Is like, hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and today I got hello. this. I got m- m- rhythm. I have Hanson's new album. I got mute. That's it. This is over. Oh. Okay, it's time to move on. I got to go vlog. All you right. should have vlogged this. <laughs> you had tons of content. Good oh, yeah, quality tell content. It. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Oh, just you just you tell me. Tell me about it, Liz. Oh, people tell are me. very concerned that uh Wicket might have a bladder infection. That's what I wanted to tell you. Yeah, no, he's he's not peeing on he's the a brat. Wicket's a brat is what it is. That's it's it's a brat infection. Is what it is. Okay. I've got to go. Yeah, we talked about your dog's pee. We'll we'll go and. Uh... <laughs> I still don't have a title for yesterday's TLDR, which I have to push out uh, now. What was covered? Um, it what was, was an AMA, but. Oh God, no! We had a problem because we didn't have any cues to A. Yeah. I think you should title it absolutely nothing about Hanson. <laughs> uh, we we had no. This is what happens when you have no cues to A. I'm just saying, Liz, because that because everything I talked about was just random. It was crap. it was good. It was good though. I liked it. Okay, well then I I think that's the best title. This is what happens when you have no cues to A. Perfect. And the cues, by the way, will not have an apostrophe in it. I know that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I saw a cupcake at the cupcake place. They had an apostrophe in yours. I'm like, ah, you need to take that off the shelf right now. Makes me twitch just thinking about it. Like, oh, do you know what really bothers me? Apart. Apart? Do people like separate that or? I, I'm really proud to be a part of this. <laughs> like, oh, like and it's one word. Of- oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's like a lot. Yeah, a lot bothers me because like yeah. once you learn that, a lot is one of those things that, really, like once you learn something like that. How, yeah. how do you forget it? There, there, and there. I don't know. Uh, Some of these things. Oh, uh, my. I went to a normal school, just like everybody else. Oh, everyone thinks that you guys are going to be uh, poisoned by the fluoride in the toothpaste, too. Probably. But it was some funny. Some Diana some had no gonna... idea. She had no idea. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm done. All right. Well, uh, blah, 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 blah. we all sound like robots. Now. now it's just and, not just Bob that's uh, a bot. We love you. We appreciate Bob you. Bot. At this point, we're going to leave you to your own devices. <laughs>